guys, welcome back to The Average. Today we're going to be trying out Delita's Manga Tool Set, which my brother Tim got me. So if you're watching Tim, thank you for this. I have never tried out this kind of kit before, so it'd be interesting to see. And because I'm trying out something new, here's a quick message from our sponsors. I'm sponsored today by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes covering dozens of creative and entrepreneurial skills. Premium membership gives you unlimited access so you can look at any classes and communities and see a class that's right for you and try it out and if you don't like it you can just try something else in there because they have loads of different things so whether it fuel your curiosity creativity or even career Skillshare is a perfect place for you to keep learning and thriving this is a class I took that I found really intriguing I like to look on Skillshare and look at different classes and try and use some of them and develop my own skills in my everyday life Skillshare is also really affordable when you compare it to like degree courses or other applications a really good price it's only ten dollars a month so you can learn as many things as you want in that month and it's pretty reasonable I would say because Skillshare is sponsoring this video you can sign up with the link in the description and get two months for free okay so on to this little box that we get here I'm not sure how much this was because obviously it's a gift but I think it's it's quite reasonably priced and you get quite a little good set in here so let's just open this up so you get two nice black pens one is a acid-free pigment ink waterproof and it's a free liner which I think it's pretty thin yeah pretty thin pen and one is a brush pen and kind of like a felt tip marker end so that's a brush end and there's the felt tippy end which will come in handy we also get this tool which I believe is for like layering down the sheets of the um I don't even know what it's called the screen paper mm -hmm. this is for laying down the screen paper or the tone paper where you get the different patterns on. Obviously, I am very new to this, so if I'm getting terms wrong and stuff, that's because I haven't used this before. So we're kind of going with the flow here, okay, guys? Um, next up, we get, can't even pick it up, a cool cutting blade. A cool cutting blade. And I'm interested to see this because I, you guys know that I like to do paper art and stuff, so this will come in handy for that as well. And we get this nice how to draw manga um, booklet, but I believe it's in Japanese. So we're just gonna have to look at the pictures. <laughs> I have a feeling that I'm going to be stuck. <laughs> Pasta, that's enough. I think what I'm gonna do is just dive into this and probably fail at it, but we learn from failing, so let's just give it a go. And then you obviously get um, some paper in here which is for drawing manga so it's all I don't know if you can see that it's got markings sizing so you can probably draw like your own little manga comic thing we probably will try this out let's let's see how it how it goes how how much I fail and here you have the screen paper so let's take a look at this this is the thing that this is all about really so you get these screen papers, they're for transferring this pattern onto your paper quickly because you can just instantly have different colours and variations and things and I think it would be really fun to just play around with it. We're just having fun here guys, we're not taking anything seriously so when I'm obviously going to be using this incorrectly, don't get mad. And if you do get mad then enjoy yourself because at least you've enjoyed yourself I guess. I mean. Some people are just born to enjoy being angry. Ah, uh, yeah. And those are the six, no, cannot count. These are the five that we get. And yeah, I'm gonna enjoy using them. And then there's another little magazine here, a catalog of things that you can probably buy from them or get, which is the different screen printing. So these are the practice pieces that they come with. And I thought it'd be fun to just color these in and have a go with them. It's just a, a fun little tool that I wanted to try. Okay, let's firstly take a look at all the comic -y stuff that we get, all the examples that we're supposed to be using for practice. I will pick one to use. I like this one because it has a cat. <laughs> Love it. I think I'm just gonna go with it and try and see what I can do. So I think I'm gonna use this page for now. That pen is really, really tiny for me. I don't I feel uncomfortable with a nib that size. It's too it's too small. It's nice, nice uh, felt to be obviously it is bleeding like slightly, which is something I do not enjoy. I am afraid of it.
If you make a mistake, just colour it in. Let's draw some windows, my favourite pastime. Okay everyone, I hated this so I drew a new image and thanks to Chris, my boyfriend, for the idea because I'm going to ink this one up and do this instead because I was just kind of hating this and we're going to pretend that that didn't happen and just uh, use the pens on my lovely sketchbook here. So let's go. So I don't really know what this girl is. She's kind of wearing some small villager type of clothes and I think she's just come across this kind of crazy water sword that's I don't really know the story but I like her style. So this is my final initial doodle and I'm just gonna have fun with it and try and use some of these screen prints a little bit. I don't know whether to colour it in first. Um, I think we're gonna do a sword with that pattern. Okay so I think I just need to cut around this bit. All these blades just fell out and it's kind of scary. Um, I just want one. Oh my god that's scary. Very nice. Thank you blades. Don't need all of you though. That was Terrifying to see all that box of death away. Um, probably doing this incorrectly over on the edge. See, so twirl that bit, and then that makes more sense than just trying to shove it in with your hand. Um, right. Um, not sure about this. I don't understand. So, if you're doing this, guys, just press down super gently. What? I stuck it there and then it's disappeared. Where did it go? I'm honestly quite confused by that. Okay. That looks cute, that's cool, right? I want to try doing like colour underneath now as well. So I think what I'll do is colour her in and then try screen tone on top. So I think I'm going to call that my first try of using screen tones and I think it was pretty fun. It's pretty fun to mess around with. I'm obviously not using them correctly because it's just a practice piece but I think I learned a little bit of how to use them a little bit more and maybe I can incorporate them into some art stuff that I do in the future. I found this really fun so it's nice to have these tools ready and available to me so I can use them in the future. That was really fun and it was fun to try something a little bit different. I hope you guys like this bonus video. Obviously it's a bonus video because it's sponsored by Skillshare and a huge shout out to them. Don't forget that you can get um, two months free subscription in the link below if you want it. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time. Bye! Thank you.